Yo, you was, you were saying something about um the uh addictive personality. And there was a time where like you were like huge. And you had to like you went to go get surgery. Yep. But it made me think about that because I watched your episode when you explained it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That was some of the best content I've ever seen. Hmm. Like, I know like y'all, I was gonna ask you about the circle CEOs and shit like that. Like, y'all talk money shit and finance shit. Like, that's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, yeah. I, I, it's, I wanna make nah make a million dollars. It's cool. But when I watch that, bro. No. I never, like, I don't know you, right? So it's like, I only see, like, you pop me your shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I watched that, bro, that shit, in my line, I, I, was, I was like, bro, this shit made me, it's so crazy, because I'm like, I don't even need to interview this no more. Because, <laughs> like, that's not like to talk about. Yeah. When I watched it, I'm like, yo, that was, that was good, bro. Yeah. What made you do that? Bro, that shit started f***ing with my money. <laughs> For real? You losing weight? Yes. Every post I put out. Yo, what you do to lose weight? Yo, what's the secret? Is Ozempic? You got cancer? Mm. You dying? God. You see how many views on that? Shit? Mm. It's everybody wanted to know. It was. It started becoming a. I. I tried. I did it for myself. Mm. I ain't do it for social media and shit. Like I was doing it for myself. Man, I'm finna die out this. Day. Like I'm trying to live. Like. Bro, that shit just, it was so drastic and it became like, I could look, it was the number one thing people Google when they search him 500. Mm. It's like him 500 weight loss. It's all they was looking for. And I'm like, damn, all right. I got to figure out a way to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like, I didn't do it in a way so like I wasn't trying to monetize it. So it wasn't like, yo, I'm about to sell a plan. I got a weight loss pill. I got some. It was just like, bro, I didn't have nothing um, you, for even for to buy or nothing like that. It wasn't the way I was trying to monetize it. I really was doing it for myself. But it started messing up business because I couldn't do nothing without, that was the number one question. That's what everybody wanted to talk about. That was the main focus. What's mm -hmm. going on? What's that? How you lose weight? So I had to, and I'm like, all right, well, cool. I'm doing wealth therapy. Let's just put it out there, share it, talk about it. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's why I asked you who was recording it. Cause like when I seen it, granted, it was like probably five months ago, maybe six, but I, when I seen it, I literally was like, bro, like it made me wanna, I'm like, bro, this shit look like this. In my line, I'm dumb dead ass. I'm looking at it, I'm like, bro, I'll pull up today and help this. Like I really was like, bro, mm -hmm. I wanna help. Like it, because it was just so good. And mind you, it was a space that I never saw you in. So like when I seen it, I'm like, yo, I like this. Like it. It's, I, I can't explain it. it. It's just it really. I commend you for that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people they aren't even they don't even know how to be vulnerable. You know what I'm trying to say? And um, I was wondering, do you ever like think about that old Marcus at all? Yeah, I'm not gonna pass what you said. You see, I use like you identify. <laughs> Yo, I helped this with the mic. <laughs> nah, I come in this motherfucker. I ain't gonna hold you because the way that it helps me separate on camera and shit like that, right? And this is like. This is like we real like having a conversation, bro. Like, look, bro, I, I tell you, bro, I'm human. I'm not just like, oh, ego, pride. <clears throat> I know my quality for the shit that I shoot is not that great. Mm. Can I easily go, hey, come produce my shit? Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can. But <laughs> what happens is, is that then I got I to gotta deal with it. Like, I ain't even put my shit on audio, nothing. I know what I'm not doing, this, right? That's crazy. But you know how I many got shows and shit that it can't do it? Mm. I'm 21, 22 weeks in. I'm just showing what you want to do. Just work. I'm not a podcast. Mm. I ain't. I can't interview people. I don't know how to ask people questions. I talk too much. I'm the number one talk. So I sit here by myself. But I may start interviewing people. But I'm just showing, like, look, this is just consistency. Do you have dedication and are you consistent in something? It doesn't matter if it got to be the best. I'm coming in from somebody who's already high level and you would think like, oh, man, your shit should be top top tier producing, all of that. And it's like, nah, I can start and do just like you. Mm -hmm. I went from I got 100 and something thousand subs to 102,000 subs. I took this shit in May. 
grew 60,000 subs, putting out content, putting it out, putting it out, putting it out, putting it out. I'm just showing people, and it and it's nobody behind it. It's one person. I bought my own cameras, and just, I just place them. I'm sitting in my living room in my house. I ain't even leaving. At the house. Here, boop, come here. I, and I'm freestyling. I don't got a script. Intro video, one intro video. It's one person sitting there. Intro time, go. Out, they know the cues. That's it. Ain't nothing else. I don't see comments. I ain't talking about super chats. None of that. Bro. I'm not big on YouTube. I may, I'm making myself relevant on YouTube. I just show people, bro, it ain't nothing that you can't do if you just work. No, nah, fact. And it's the confidence in yourself to do it even when you don't get no reward. You know, money off YouTube. I'm just connecting more with the people. It's just allowing me to meet and connect with the people on another level. But also I shoot wealth therapy for an hour and it give me 10, 15 pieces of content to put out on social, Instagram and stuff in shorts and put out clips every week. So I shoot for an hour and they give me clips all week. Mm. Then out of them clips, it just helped me produce content. That's nothing but a content session for me. I sit there for an hour and I figured out how to make content. Then I start figuring out how to make money. This the, the part is that now do I can make five to fifteen thousand dollars episode. Mm. You're sitting at the house with three hundred thousand <laughs> subs and getting nothing. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the money. I was just like, this is gold. I'm like, bro, it, in my line, I literally was like, bro. But I'm gonna ask you a question about the vulnerability because you asked me about what made me be vulnerable. Um, bro, I'm, I live on I live online. Mm. My life is out there. I, I it, at this point, you get into the point where people want to get online and, and create content and shit like that. You got to be willing to just put your life outside. Mm. Is what it is. But your life is only again. Before I watch this video, your life is no, no. I think about it. Your life is only out there for what you wanted to be out there for. It ain't really nothing besides the little. I think a couple years ago it was a couple. Talking some scamming, but the fraud. Sh fraud sh mm -hmm. Besides that, your image on the gram and YouTube is getting money. It ain't nothing crazy. So you ain't have to do that. Like it wasn't yeah. like. But I'm so I'm I'm so I'm such a public facing person. Meaning, you 350 pounds. Now you a buck eighty. Nah, f out of here, bro. I f with you. I rock with you. I've been learning from you for years. I. I but my, my, this is what happened. You can't just come can't back just, yeah, yeah, yeah. and be like, what? What y'all talk about? Like, nah, uh, you finna. But there's a difference between saying, yo, I got surgery mm -hmm. and I'm giving you roses. Take your roses. Like, it's a difference between saying, bro, I got surgery. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Medical procedure. I had to do it. And having a whole, what, I was something plus. Vulnerable session, like that was lit. That was dope as f like. I, I mean, I just I, I wanted to explain it so people got it, but then I also knew other people gonna go because then whenever I say I do something or I did it, it makes it okay for other people to do it. Mm. So I have to kind of <laughs> lay the foundation of why, how, how I feel, how I processed it, everything that I went through. You know what I'm saying? So. In that, in that moment when I sat down and did that, it wasn't just talking about, oh, I got a surgery, I lost weight. Mm. They don't want to know that, oh, I got a surgery and lost weight. Like people gonna be sitting there like, bro, I'm 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 dealing with this. What do you what did you deal with that made you get surgery? Mm. How did you deal with the, the 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 coming back after the surgery? How did you feel? Everything that goes with it, how you maintain, how you, why your skin ain't sagging? Like they gonna wanna know. If I don't tell you now, they gonna ask me my DM. Mm. Then my DMs is in shambles behind this. Shit. Like the weight loss. It was controlling my DMs. Like I can't even sell nobody nothing. You, you didn't just only worry about my weight loss. Yeah. So I had to tell the truth and I had to answer everybody's question that they would come back with and explain it and let people know, like. You look at me, respect me, and follow me for so much, but this is something that's super important, and I started seeing how important it was to people and how many people was in my inbox asking, and it's like it's, it's life or death for a lot of people. So I had to just be like, look, this is what it is. This is how I handle it. This is why. This is how I felt. And 
y'all get to look into my world of like I'm I feel like y'all feel. Yeah. When the last time you looked at that 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 Marcus, that what, almost four hundred pound three three sixty? Three sixty. They ain't four. We gonna keep it in threes. That four, <laughs> that four would do something different. Three sixty. Like when? When the last time you looked at? Did you have you ever like re- reflect on life and just look like, damn man, this could have been different. Yeah, look at it, bro. We had a conversation the other day. Somebody was like, man, you know, health is wealth. And I said, nigga, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. Keep that shit. Wealth is wealth. Health is health. You can't have one without the other. Yes, you can, because I was unhealthy to the motherfucker, but I, the bag was there. And I wouldn't trade shit. I'm blessed to be able to do what I did, get into this position, and maintain this lifestyle now. I'm 100% happy. I feel good. I feel amazing. But if a nigga was like, yeah, man, would you trade it? I wouldn't. I take, I take like, I don't regret being fat. I enjoyed that shit. I enjoyed my life. I enjoyed the shit I was doing. A little uncomfortable moments when getting on airplanes and shit, but I was okay. But I think that a lot of times people can conduce and put that like, man, you know, now you, you, you all the way together. It's like, nigga, I was all the way together when I was fat. My brain was working when I was fat. And just because some, it's going to be people out there who are overweight and dealing with that and thinking that they need to lose weight to be successful or it's going to help them make more money. That shit ain't true. And I was a fat nigga getting more money than fucking 99% of the world. 99.5% of the world as a fat dude with health complications, with bad eating habits, with, with, with no discipline in that aspect of my life. And I don't want people to think like, Oh man, I need to lose weight. Like it's gonna change everything. It don't change nothing, bro. You can be overweight and still get to it. It's just the way. The only thing you gotta control is your thinking. Now, can you end up dying early? Yeah, but I know a lot of niggas with six packs that goddamn is a spinach smoothie away from being homeless because they fucking spend all their money on health and nutrition, but financially they in ruts. But they look amazing. <clears throat> but that's you know that's crazy because that, that made me think of a, a, a statement that. I've heard this before him, but let's credit him for this, for the sake of this conversation. Your man say all the time. Who? That's my dog, too. I fuck with you. Neo. He would say, the way you do one thing is how you do everything. So think about that. If you're undisciplined in your health, you will be undisciplined in, in your spending habits or your money habits, and that, clearly that's not the case. Discipline and health means what? Like, when it comes to like, oh, I need to be all in on eating and taking care. It's a different level when somebody's obese and they got to be disciplined. Like for me, it wasn't like, oh, man, I eat any time of nights and doing things like that. In order for me to lose weight, I don't have to be disciplined. I have to be over disciplined. Mm. I have to actually work to get the weight off. You don't just lose weight by being disciplined. You can't be fat and be like, okay, I'm going to eat. I'm going to start eating right. And the weight just going to come off. You got to deal with it. You got to understand your blood type, your the things, what foods is good for you, you got to constantly study. You have to work at that. You could work at doing business and you figure out, okay, well, one of them going to suffer. That was my standpoint. But how you do anything is how you do everything in certain aspects, and I think he's referring to business Mm -hmm. because you can't excel in everything and at everything at the same time. You're not going to be able to be excellent in your health all the way to the fullest, excellent in business, excellent in your spiritual side, and excellent in your motherfucking uh, relationship and side too. It's so many different components to life. You got 100% of your efforts. Let's just do like this. You got health, wealth, <clears throat> spiritual, and family, relationships. You got 100% of effort. That's all you got is 100% of effort. It's only you. Mm-hmm. Out of those four, which one are you giving a hundred? Which one are you gonna give fifty or seventy five? Or are you gonna give twenty five here, twenty five here, twenty five here, twenty five here? Well, guess what? You ain't you ain't great as shit. Yeah, you an average ass nigga. I give seventy five into my business, twenty five into my goddamn relationships because they understand that I'm putting seventy five over here and they willing to accept that. Guess what? These other two gonna suffer. 
I ain't gonna flip the camera off, but these other two gonna suffer. But you gotta look, you only got 100% of your efforts. You're only a person. So you only got 100% of your efforts. Mm. If you put 50% into your health, 50% into your into building wealth, where your family? Where about your spiritual side? If I put a 75% into getting money for the next three years, five years, then I can supplement and take some of this wealth to make this process easier. Mm. And it's fucked up, and I'm not saying it's good because I took the easy way. I feel like I cheated this, that, and the third. I'm not, it ain't something that I'm like, oh, man, I would do, but it's my reality. The level of financial gain I was able to reach, I did $35 million in fucking three years. Nigga, check it out. $10,000 to get a surgery. Then I got to maintain. I, I could already pay for a chef. I could do all these other things, make my life easy and get my blood work done every quarter and check my my levels and really understand that I'm able to think and operate at a whole nother level. I'll take it. 